subscribe to Naika TV and press the bell icon to make sure you never miss an update from us. Going to a salon just for a root touch-up can be quite heavy on the pocket. Hi, I'm Vanessa Fernandez, hair stylist and salon director at Be Blunt, and today I'm going to show you to easily cover your grey hair at home. So let's begin. Hi Vanessa, I'm super excited to do this today. I do have a few strands of grey hair. Uh, to be honest, it doesn't bother me so much and I'm quite comfortable with it. But since I have a wedding to attend, I would like to cover up my greys. The first and the most important step, Jennifer, is to do an allergy test. And I believe it's imperative to do so because anyone can uh, have an allergic reaction to the product. Uh, even if it's ammonia or non-ammonia, I would definitely suggest an allergy test before starting off your colour. Okay. So we begin by cleaning a small area behind the left ear. Then you mix a little bit of your shine tonic, the developer and the colouring together, very little quantity. Put it with a earbud on the, on the left ear and then keep it for 48 hours and then rinse it off. But why the left ear? That's just a fun fact, we do it on the left ear because it's more closer to the heart. And what kind of reactions do generally people get if they are allergic to uh, colorant? So people react to ammonia in different ways. Uh, so basically you can get a rash or you can get an itching sensation. So now I can go ahead and cover up my greys. So Jennifer, we need uh, a pair of gloves, of course the color, uh, we need a brush. Uh, a hair colouring brush, uh, a non-metallic bowl, a non-metallic tail comb, four sectioning clips and Vaseline. Okay Jennifer, now on to the mixing. Okay. So first you can put the developer okay. in. Also the best part of the tubes is they have a mark. Oh, lovely. Yes. Okay, so I need to remove it only this mark. So yes, because you're uh, doing only the root touch-up, right. so try only 25 gram. Okay. The whole tube is for 50. Right. So you can use half of it. Okay. So in case you require more of the colour, you can always mix later. But I would definitely suggest first to mix in a s smaller oh, proportion. Okay, next is the? Next is the colouring. Alright. The same and uh, in equal proportions. Yes. Okay. So that you mix 25 of that, even this tube is 50, so you can mix 25 grams again. A shine tonic. Alright. This is around 8, okay, so, so I would suggest 4. So mix it till you get a nice creamier consistency. Consistency, oh, yes. Okay. So for Jennifer, we are using a honey light golden brown colour from the Beebland Salon Secrets. In Beebland Salon Secrets, there are seven different shades. Right. So you can always choose the one closest to your previous colour. Let's begin by dividing your hair into four equal sections using a tail comb. and clip it with a sectioning clip. So Jennifer, let's uh, put some Vaseline on okay. your forehead, just below your hairline and apply it a little bit above your ears as well and at the back hairline as well. Vaseline because it acts like a stain guard and it doesn't allow your skin to stain off the colour. Guys, you can use an old towel at your house to cover your body before your colour instead of a cape. Apply the colour on the hairline first and all the partings. After that, apply the colour in the front two sections first to tackle the stubborn greys as they will get the most processing time. When colouring your hair at home, it's natural that it may get a bit messy. Now take a small section with the help of your tail comb, apply diagonally or parallel whatever is comfortable with you, but not more than half an inch for full coverage. Keep doing it till the first section of your hair is covered. Repeat the same on the other side. 
So color removes color. So in case you have stained your scalp while coloring your hair, just emulsify the root area while shampooing for 5 minutes and the stain will be off. Use a product that is a color safe shampoo which will keep your color long lasting and also your hair looking vibrant and radiant. Make sure that you use a color safe conditioner for your hair and try using a mask once a week. So here you go. Just with a few guidelines from me, Jennifer was able to cover her greys at home. I feel great. I didn't know it was so easy to cover my greys at home and it's all thanks to you. So guys, I hope you liked this video. Let's bid our greys goodbye and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Naked TV for lots more.